So this is not a tutorial. Um, so here you go. This is how I started. I planned it that this way. So I'm building my uh, dog house. Um, my intention was not to film, but you know, I filmed just for my own record. But as you can see, I started with the frame. Uh, the most important part was uh, the base frame that I built. So the top actually was the easiest part. Uh, I wanted it to be solid. So that's why um, I, I started with the base um, uh, the base frame and use four pillars. So those are the pictures, of course. Uh, observation of the two dogs waiting for the houses. So I use all those plywood that I got from Home Depot. Um, and actually where there was a discount because it was kind of scrap uh, wood that was sitting there. So I got it at a very good price. Uh, the floor was actually recycled from a previous project that I had. So I doubled it up. Like I said, I wanted it to be a solid house for my dog. So here we go. Um, created the walls on this side because I reinforced it with a, a, um, a wood actually. So as you can see, this is supposed to be the front of the house. So it's not reinforced yet. So I had to figure that one out. Of course, the roof, I didn't put all the reinforcement because I didn't have enough uh, pieces, but I just put one so it can stay in place. So as you can see for the door, I put two pieces of wood uh, to reinforce it um, for the door. So when I put the walls, um, they will stay in place and they won't move at all. So that's what I did. And then I add the top uh, to pretty much make a more resistance. Um, so I added that bar on top for the door. And here we go. So I added the wall. So that thing is not going to go anywhere. Uh, it's going to stay there. Um, so yeah, so the wall were done at this point. So now I had to think about the wood. So I went to uh, Home Depot again. Uh, I, I couldn't, I didn't want to buy the, just the plywood because I was like, well, I'm going to protect the, the, the roof. So what I did, I bought, well, look, it was painted. So I painted the inside because I, I know it's going to be hard to paint once everything is done. So I bought some partic uh, particle uh, board to use as a roof. You know, I, I was worried about, you know, it's going to get wet. But I'm like, if I'm going to protect the top, it doesn't really matter um, if it gets wet or not because it's going to protect. So both of them are put in place. I had Home Depot cut it for me. Again, they did a fantastic job. Home Depot, uh, you guys were fantastic. You helped me with this project. I got to say that. And of course, I went to buy those shingles that I got at a discount because they were open box. So I had one pack to use so i had to be very creative here um so this is one side done and the second side uh you know it didn't take lo that long actually i used a staple uh to pretty much staple them i didn't want to use nails because uh, the the particle board was not uh, thick enough so i used uh, staples to staple the whole thing so everything was done with one pack of the shingles um, so I didn't have to buy a second one, but like I said, it was 70% discount because it was an open, uh, open pack and open box. So I painted it the outside, the outside the wall. The guy was like, well, you don't really have to paint it because the, the, the plywood are, uh, uh, treated. But I was like, yeah, I want to give it a, a, a beige color or whatever. Actually, this is peanut color, peanut butter color. And of course the approval of the two dogs waiting for the house to be done. They like it, actually, they said. So, yeah, you will wonder why I put the light. I'm not trying to be fancy. The light, actually, because I have two heater lamps inside um, and they don't have a light. So in order for me to know if the lights, uh, the heater, the heat lamp are on or off, I needed to put another light outside to just make, to make sure that they are on uh, or off. So it's not just to be fancy. So this is how the whole thing started it. We bought this from Amazon. Uh, it didn't even last a, uh, a year. It, it was just going on uh, pieces. The legs were broken. Um, I didn't want to buy a new one. So I decided to buy this igloo thinking it's going to be the right side. But the dog, they didn't, like, they didn't like it. They didn't like the smell. They didn't like the whole plastic for some reason. So that's why I built the house pretty much, which is big enough for me and the dog actually. So here we go. So now I put it in place uh, where it's supposed to be. Um, next to the patio door and of course i kept uh, the flatbed because uh zina liked to use this more than nala nala used to be inside so yeah i was like wow it would be nice to put the name on it 
uh, because it's for both of them. Nah, I don't know if they're gonna read, but look at them. Actually, they gave me an approval. The house is done, made in America, people. Made in America. Uh, Zina and Nala approved of the house, actually. So they used it actually last night. Um, I used the uh, carpet again. Thank you to Home Depot. So yeah, look, look at them. They're like, the house is nice, the house is nice. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, there's a, a carpet inside. There's a blanket where they're supposed to see it. Made in America, people. There you go, that's the light, bang. So um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm satisfied with the work. Uh, this thing is solid. I laid down myself, I was inside with the dogs. And believe me, so yeah, so thank you for watching guys, like the video and then uh, we see